It's okay, it is just uh, politics beginning and the things will stabilize in the long run. Um, but allow me, uh, Fred, to pass my condolences to the 11 students, to the parents, relatives and uh, friends of the 11 students of Kenyatta University who passed on and also wish quick recovery. I hear more than 40 are now recuperating. Some of them I know because I know their parents. And it is indeed a very sad moment for a country to be losing such young people. And of course, we don't need to lose anybody, but uh, it is unfortunate that it happens. We would expect school drivers, school bus drivers, to be in a better form in terms of uh, care, in terms of uh, um, being cautious on the roads, uh, despite the fact that anyway, accidents at times are unavoidable. But uh, we just pray for this country mm -hmm. so that uh, we save many more lives. Okay. And of course, the other issue is the banditry in Lam West. It is worrying uh, in the sense that um, this is part of Kenya. And being part of Kenya, we must be able to manage the diversity of this country in a way that uh, Kenyans are not put to a disadvantage just because they came from another part of Kenya, of the country. And, but finally, the weekend was good. Yes, the rains are coming in, but we are worried as farmers about fake fertilizer. Mm -hmm. We know a fake fertilizer is not even the fact that you are conned to buy stones instead of fertilizer, but what it means in terms of food security. Because we may end up spending as a country a lot more money importing food while we are the ones responsible <coughs> for the destruction of the farming sector. Okay. Yeah. Back to that issue of uh, what's happening in Transoya, uh, very interesting videos, uh, scenes that we witnessed uh, probably in the 90s, especially with that uh, Ford Kenya uh, supremacy battles between um, uh, the late Vice President uh, Kijana Amalu and Raila Odinga back in the day, uh, yes. people hiding under tables. That is what we saw in Transoya this past weekend. It's happening. There's a lot of tension. You see, uh, I come from the generation that uh, precedes my governor, mm -hmm. Natembea. And so is Wetangula from that generation. So is Fort Kenya. Fort Kenya is seen to be trying, struggling to survive. Uh, DAP is trying to come to town. And that tension is likely to take place. What we just beseech the leaders is that let sense, uh, sensibility prevail. Because at the end of the day, we are all residents of Transoya. And uh, we do not have to destroy. <coughs> desks, we don't have to kill people for us to have a uh, leadership position. Leadership just evolves. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the people say <coughs> it is not Kirwa, we must give in and say, okay, life will continue even after me. I think the, the more interesting concern, and allow me to dwell on this uh, a little bit more, is uh, the fact that it appears the uh, supremacy wars in Western region have found a base or a war front in Transoya. Uh, yeah. This war is not happening in Kakamega or in Vihiga. It's happening in Transoya. Transoya, you know, is the interface between the former Western province and Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. And of course, the dominant community there happens to be the community that has always supported Fort Kenya. So it has to happen because that is whatever Transoya will do, the rest of Western is likely to follow in that particular direction. We've been providing the leadership, uh -huh. whether it's the late Masinda Muliro. And the food as well. And the food. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Let's come back to the city. Uh, when I